All right, what's up guys? Today's video, we're gonna be talking about something that I think a lot of people are curious about uh, out there. Certainly I was not too long ago and I've gotten this question a lot. So today's video is gonna be three tips for anyone who's starting out streaming. Now, if you're watching this video, there's a good chance you got to this place thinking something very similar to what I thought not too long ago, which is streaming seems like a lot of fun. Might be a way that I could have some fun and earn a little bit of extra income. I'm already playing video games anyways. Why not see if I can stream? Not a bad line of logic. Um, I'll tell you that what many of us experience after a short period of time is some burnout. Man, I really felt like I should be growing faster than this. Doesn't seem like things are adding up. I'm not getting the viewership. I'm not getting any income. Uh, it seems like I'm working a lot, learning a lot of new things, and it doesn't seem to be falling in place the way I'd hoped it would. So here's my three tips for you or for anyone who's thinking about uh, streaming or who has just gotten started streaming. Tip number one, go live. So one of the things that I've run into and a lot of people run into, certainly I do, is the fear of not being perfect. And I can spend so much time uh, preparing and trying to get it perfect the first time that I never actually do it. So this fear of doing something where it's not going to be totally perfect, a lot of times will stop me from starting in the first place. And someone told me a long time ago, if you wait until you feel prepared to do something, you'll never do anything, right? So my first tip is go live. Go live for the first time. Go live if you don't feel like it. If you had a bad day, I mean, the number one thing that I have to do as a content creator, as a streamer, is be out there for the audience. I have to go live. If I'm not live, none of the rest of it matters. So my first tip is go live. And with that, I would say try to go live with some consistency, whether it's a schedule a couple days a week, um, maybe a general uh, some days a week around the same time, or maybe you have a set schedule Monday, Wednesday, Friday, whatever it is, go live and try to do it with some consistency. Tip number two, network. Now, this is something that I always underestimate how much it actually adds to what I'm trying to do. Network with other content creators and other streamers. Why is that important? Well, sometimes we can think, well, if I network with the right person as a small streamer, if I network with someone who's averaging 100 viewers a stream, 200, 1,000 viewers a stream, then all of his viewers, his or her viewers are just going to look at me. They're going to go look at who that guy's playing with. I'm going to go follow him and my numbers are going to go through the roof. I've done that before. I've played with some of those bigger streamers, uh, partners and things like that. And I can tell you that, that that's not really where it's at. Sometimes it'll happen, but that's not really why you want to network. Networking has helped me uh, in a couple big ways. Number one, getting to know a community, getting to know like-minded people that know about some of the topics that I'm learning about. Uh, they're familiar with some of the things that I'm trying to do. And just being around successful people tends to motivate me and make me be uh, want to be successful. The second thing and really the most important thing for me is that when I've networked and I've spent time uh, trying to build those relationships, I enjoy what I do way more, way more. I don't know how many of you out there have ever, you start streaming, start playing with some of your buddies from high school or from college. It's You've always had fun with them in the past, but now that you're trying to stream and sort of do something with some discipline, it seems like it's just not the same. They're not in it for maybe the same reason you are. And what I've appreciated about networking is building consistent relationships with people who are trying to do the exact same thing as me. They're passionate about the games they play. And more importantly, they're passionate about building a great uh, viewer experience for their viewers. And so that's really helpful. So how do you network? How do you create a disciplined habit or how do you get in the habit of really networking effectively? Well, one of the things that I do that really helps me is pick one day out a week where I say, all right, on this day, I'm going to try to set up and network and play with some people that I've never played with before. If that's your deal, maybe maybe you don't want to start by playing with them. Maybe you just want to have a conversation or get on a on a on a call or get in a discord and, and talk to them a little bit about where they're at. That's fine. But pick one day a week. Say on this day, I'm going to take time out to network and play with some people that I've, I've never played with before. And for me, that's been a really simple, uh, actionable way that I have improved the relationships uh, and the, the networking that I've been able to do through streaming and through content creation. 
Okay, so the last tip that I'm gonna talk about today, my third tip is gonna be to watch other content creators. Now, there's a good chance if you're networking effectively, you're gonna spend some time doing this anyways. But I've been really uh, surprised by how how helpful it is to just sit down, maybe it's 10 or 15 minutes at a time to watch other content creators who are doing the same thing that you're doing, and maybe even some of them that are about the same size as you. It's great to watch uh, Dr. Lupo and Stone Mountain and Ninja and Shroud and all these people. Sometimes it's hard for me to see what they're doing and how they got there. Whereas if I can watch another streamer who's about the same size as me, in terms of whether it's audience or just how long they've been doing it or experience or what, sometimes I can pick up little things that I go, oh, that tool is available to me too. And I never thought to use it that way. Um, or wow, he did a really good job. You know, he's only got five viewers in his chat and he's doing a really good job sort of balancing, trying to strike up conversation with them and playing at the same time. So definitely take some time to find some of those streamers who are about the same size as you and watch what they're doing. It's been really helpful for me. So uh, to review the three tips, uh, first off, go live. It's important. Everything else falls apart if you don't do that. Most important thing. Second tip, network. It's gonna help you and motivate you in ways that you probably are gonna be surprised by. Third tip, watch other content creators do the same thing that you're trying to do. It's really helpful, it's really insightful. Um, what I want from you guys is let me know where you're at in your streaming uh, career, how long you've been doing it, where you've found success, uh, where you're sort of struggling to find success. Uh, put it in the comments below. Uh, we've all been there. If you're in this, if you're creating content, if you're streaming, everyone can sort of relate to the struggle. And a lot of times all we need is a little encouragement and a little community to help us continue to grow and do what we love to do guys thanks for stopping by today and checking out the video uh if there's anything you'd like to see me cover specifically be sure to drop it in the comments below you can always subscribe to my youtube channel for free and you can find me gaming on facebook at fb.gg armored puma 17.